Alright folks, Pachine Ace 88 and we are back playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. We are in ancient Egypt going on to day 11. Now day 11 is a little interesting. This level is a locked coordinate in time. You must take these plants to win. Otherwise you risk distorting reality. Never distort reality. You'll pull something. So we have to survive the zombie attack with the given plants. What does that mean? That means that you cannot select what you're going to use. They're going to tell you what you're going to use. You cannot use the Grave Buster. Now what I didn't realize at the beginning of this was, hey, we get a twin sunflower. How awesome is that? So, strategy going forward. Plant your first two guys. And then wait for the twin sunflower. Boom, plant it. You have 25 extra. You're basically going to be able to plant a potato mine. Now, I planted another sunflower just because I wanted to speed up the process just ever so slightly. I will be replacing them all with just the twin sunflowers. Um, it's just a matter of getting as much sun in the beginning of this as possible. In Plants vs. Zombies, it is really about getting the most sun in the very, very beginning of the game because you want to be able to set up your plants. And there are recharge times for when you select. So using that bloomerang was awesome because there are actually two zombies that are coming down. Uh, now the next row I noticed that there was probably only going to be one zombie there. So I decided to just put a potato mine. Now you'll notice that whenever I get to 125, um, I very much so use the twin sunflowers because again, I want to get as many plants as I possibly can and you can only get plants really depending on how many how many um, sun that you have. Now you guys will notice that unfortunately I don't have the iceberg lettuce. I don't have the ability to freeze everyone. That, is, that becomes a, a slight problem for me. Just really due to the fact that I really normally count on that. Now at this point we're basically getting plenty of sun to allow us to basically plant a uh, bloomerang as much as we want. So at this point you are really going to want to plant as many of these bloomerangs as you possibly can. Now I lost the twin sunflower there, which is unfortunate, however, I'm still going to be able to make it. No doubt. Unfortunately I had to use a plant food there, just because I didn't want to lose any more ground. And again, that's this is only the first wave. We really want to be able to just make it to the second wave. If we can make it to the second wave, we basically beat the day. Now you all will notice that there are a ton of buckethead zombies that come up here. So what I tried to do was to try to put up a walnut and try and kind of stop some of the bucket heads. Because even with the even within the row, second from the top with the four Bloomerangs, I'm still not able to, even after using a plant food, really take out the Buckethead Zombie. I mean, I am before it takes one of us out, but there's really no huge progress that's made. Something you can do, which is actually kind of a cool strategy, and I'll probably show you guys this a little bit later, is you can actually put a walnut and then put a potato mine right behind it so that all of the zombies kind of gather up in one place. And then once they go through that walnut, they'll go to the other side and they will basically all be taken out. So that's actually kind of something cool that you can do. I didn't show it to you guys in this one um, because at this point, I my goal was really just to get as many bloomerangs on the field as possible to take them out. Now this is the final wave and you'll notice that as you can see, Basically, all these bloomerangs are taking out everything that we need. I mean, we are not really having too much of an issue. Because they can hit three zombies at once, it really does help. And with that, we even get a gift. Now, what is the gift? 
It's a new costume. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So anyways, guys, that was day 11. I'll see you guys in the next day. This has been Pitching 88. Over and out.